TV, ladies and gentlemen. We are just two weeks from Clash of Champions. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? We are almost up for our next big major event, and what a card it's shaping up to be. And we are, of course, starting tonight, ladies and gentlemen, with the first of two Vixen's Tag Team matches. will be squaring off in that Fatal 4-Way Elimination Match at Clash of Champions. We already know that Riley Everett of the Glow Girls is already a part of that. Glow Girls defeating the former Vixens Tag Team Champions, the Page Turning Centerfolds, just last week after an hellacious matchup. And here we see Lady Chaos, who had pretty much you know, invited herself into that situation between Catalina Star and Spice. Stating that it will be a two out of three falls submissions only match between herself, Catalina, and Spice, and Clash of Champions. And she did say that she would see one of them this weekend, or at least this week, sorry. And she has decided, it seems, that she will be facing off against Catalina, as the cast will be teaming with her pet of sorts, Samantha Darkstar, to take on Catalina and Zahara Maggot Star. To see which of these two teams will have a representative at Clash of Champions. So rather obvious that it should would either be Samantha Dark Star or Samantha Madigan Star. Lady Chaos and Tenlina Star are booked to face one another. Cyclone, a part of the Trinity who was recently converted over by Lady Chaos. Well, I don't think anyone needs to know the means. Suffice to say that Samantha has been uh, rather violent in her tendencies. Matches. for Samantha Darkstar. But we do know that number one contendership at Clash of Champions. I've said this before, ladies and gentlemen, but here we are going to go again. It is the Fatal 4-Way Elimination Matchup. Eight teams will be competing in single matches. Four of those teams will stand at least one representative for the Fatal 4-Way match. As last week, we saw the Glow Girl standing in Riley Everett. So Riley will be one of the four competitors for Western Wrestling's Clash of Champions. Class of Champions just two weeks away. We have two of the tag team matches here tonight. The fourth one will be next week. You're all going to die down here. Now waiting the arrival of Catalina Star, who is unsuccessful in her endeavors against Spice at WrestleMania. Spice pretty much expecting Catalina to essentially beg her for whatever reason that just a couple weeks ago, but Catalina made it no uncertain terms. That is not what she was interested in doing. Essentially slamming the mic across the side of Spice's head and just going to town on her. Now Lady Chaos has gotten into the mix. I'm the whole thing. Well, 
best way to describe it from a normal mindset is rather disturbing. And she would call it delicious. What has been going on between Catalina and Spice? That's wanting to make herself a representative in that sort of scenario. Here we go. It looks like Lady Chaos will be starting off as a Hera Madigan star, and this match is underway. Both women meeting in the middle of the ring. Didn't think that there would be any sort of handshake agreement between these two. So arm drag there, counter by Sahara. Overhand chop, and now, oh, there's another arm drag there. So with the sun chancery, fireman's carry with the authority. And it's brought to her feet. Sets into the star corner, but rebounds off the turnbuckle. And DDT. The lady casts his head planted into that canvas. And now a quick tag it's from Zara to Catalina. And Catalina going straight to work on her future opponent. And that coming triple threat, two out of three fall submissions only matchup. All we're missing is spice. And we're getting plenty of spice right there. Lady Chaos's face colliding with that bottle turnbuckle. Chaos is not having very good luck with that uh, corner setup right there. Heavy shot by Catalina turns this Chaos around and slam right down to the face. Narrowly catching her throat across the ropes. Samantha trying for a tag. No. What Catalina was doing earlier, getting up onto the apron. And now, nope, nope. Catalina from behind. Reverse DDT. And again, Samantha trying for a tag with. It's a pretty uh, long crawl for Chaos. Honestly, I would assume that Catalina would revel in watching it. Sahara so just whipping her feet off across Chaos, and I would say that that was a very unfair tactic, but given Chaos's words about her wife... Now Sahara up on the top rope, taking a chance, and it collides with a splash! Split leg, split leg, uh, leg drop there. Going for the scoop slam, but no. Will we see the scoop slam tonight, ladies and gentlemen? As Hera flipped up and folds it over. Cash okay, should probably go for a tag, and it looks like she might be doing just that. And yes, quick tag to Samantha Darkstar. The Hera waits. Kick in the gut now, sending Samantha towards the corner, but no, Samantha now. And Sahara fighting back. Sidewalk, no, backbreaker instead. Sahara with Samantha up, and oh! And now Samantha's face colliding into that bottom turnbuckle pad. Sahara Star and Cal Sahara and Catalina Star just been all over Samantha and Lady Chaos, but it looks like Samantha could be turning things around with a power bomb straight to the outside mats. That's not gonna do your back any good. And that's not gonna do your ribs any good, and a drop kick to the face for good measure. Standing moonsault by Samantha. Three up to six. And Samantha sending Sahara to the inside. And, oh yes, Sahara makes it to Catalina tag in. And now Catalina rushing right through, kicking Samantha down. Drop close line. And another drop kick. She's barely keeping up with that. And not the Anaconda Vice. I don't know if it's going to be enough, but it could be. Will it? No. Knee to the back of the head. Got to play all the fields, ladies and gentlemen. So the 
Finally getting in that kick that she wanted, and now arm drag to the side. And again, no scoop slam. Smith laying up Catalina, now going for the tag. See her back up on the apron. And no, trying for the heavy shot, unsuccessful. Chaos sent into the far corner. Now Catalina is just venting us some frustrations, and in comes Sahara, venting us some frustrations of her own. So Catalina ties herself in, and now takes over, stopping down every single part of Lady Chaos that she can. And drop kick straight across the ribs. All for good measure, and now Sahara going for the cover. Samantha takes out the referee, and Sahara holding Samantha still for a clothesline from her wife. Referee still down and out. So now's a good time to uh, take some advantage, but we never exactly see that happen. Sahara with the DDT. Here we go, quick cover. And yes, Sahara Madigan Star and Catalina Star now advance. The Sahara going to the fatal four-way elimination matchup. And what a and what a statement to make prior to Clash of Champions. So Sahara will join in. Riley Everett. We see following the double team effort of just stomping down on Lady Cass, and she just never recovered from that. No protection for Chaos there. Will this thing be as we've seen it here? The stars getting a measure of superiority over Lady Chaos at Clash of Champions. We will just have to wait and see, ladies and gentlemen. How things play about. Already a step towards the Vixens Tag Team titles. Best of luck to Sahara Madigan Star. What exactly is, is going on here, ladies and gentlemen? Klein just dancing around with pom poms. What they're exactly they're celebrating. They recently lost the Divas Championship. They may have lost the right to hold to earn Emily's contract or something. I don't know. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, just distracted there for a bit. Maybe Anya is celebrating something. Celebrating Kitty Klein. All the way we saw them come down. Well, we saw this woman just last week. Perhaps this is what's going on, ladies and gentlemen. Anya is sending Terry. Sorry, Katie Klein after Terry. There we go. Terry making her debut just last week, taking on and defeating Emily Stratfield and then assaulting her post the match. Or post the match, sorry, not post the match. Just post the match. And, well, I suppose in a way, Anya is already viewing Emily as part of her hero. This is certainly something that she would do, but well, I highly doubt that Emily would have accepted this position within Anya's harem. And we'll see. After all, it was a long while of uh, doubt and questions about Honey joining the harem, and she ultimately did.
now Terry taking quick control of Katie, twisting out her arm, bringing her down to a knee. And then Katie pretty much telling Terry, no one brings me to my knees but Anya. And now Katie from behind, nice little bit of chain wrestling here going on, continuing on actually. Grounded headlock, nope, turned around and standing headlock there by Terry. Taking hold of the arm and now it's dropping Katie down. And it looks like Terry got the better of that exchange and just a quick slap to the face just to remind Katie of her place, I suppose. Terry's attitude really certainly reminds me of Emily. The question of why they couldn't have just gotten along. But, well, I suppose there's your answer right there. A grand shot, but Terry just takes it. Comes straight back at Katie. Elbow to the top, back of the head. And almost flings her through the ropes there. Luckily, we have invisible walls, ladies and gentlemen. Only certain maneuvers are allowed to get through. There's DDT there. Terry pretty much shouting out at Katie now, getting it on his face. Katie coming from behind, defending her goddess, and kick her low knee right to the, well, nether regions. And Katie utilizing her entire body as a weapon there. Katie, the second member to join the harem. shortly thereafter by Sasha Banks. Honey Rydell. Satsuko starting the whole thing and perhaps now let me see that Emily has joined up and now Terry with a hold of Katie's arms. And Anya going for the top turnbuckle pad there but the referee spots it watches it. And perhaps realizing that she wasn't exactly helping Katie there. Steps down. Terry just watches. And Anya back up on the apron. Shouting out at Katie. Telling her. Warning her. And it seems to work. Kick to the gut. And. Pump handle package driver. And Anya just throwing in a chair. Kick to the gut. And. Package driver with the cover. Referee counting the three. And just makes it to the two. Steel chair is still in the ring. Double legs handle across the arm. But Terry fights back. Katie swung around. Or swung back. And jawbreaker. Referee finally taking care of that steel chair. the cover just a one count only though they're just crying out at Katie just mocking her going for a scoop slam never go for a scoop slam here in what's up wrestling there's a 95% chance of failure Katie trying to utilize that failure rate Getting a bit too close to the action. He's going to get taken out again if he doesn't. He's not careful. And Katie up on the top rope. Middle rope, sorry. Sorry, a bit close, but kicked away. And yes. Make a standard from the top. And Katie's just absorbing in the energy, the essence that Anya represents. Throughout this crowd, the Saskatoon rioting crowd, and a kick to the back. Because, of course, we all know that Regina is the better city. So, the handstand into a or backflip into a knee drop. I'm pretty sure that Katie may have learned that. 
Watching Emily. Oh, Terry coming in. No. Terry missing out on that. Gets that one in. Can I make another attempt? That Katie's arms trapped in, but no, Katie managing to roll through. To the ropes, and no, Terry flipping her up over the top. And Katie perhaps greening a bit too much now. Terry, though, flipping up the arm. But Katie, what a turnaround there. Gonna have to get back in at some point. Look we're up to six. Is Terry just gonna try and take a count out? Well, it seems that way. She's dusting it all off. Referee is up to eight. And nine and a half. Terry was really gonna try for a count out victory. And going for another package driver. Yes! Package driver, pinfall connection to no. Katie's just narrowly calling out a victory there from a sudden defeat. Looks like Terry's about to try and slap out Katie's face again, but Katie fighting back now, choke dropping Terry onto the canvas. Snap mare now a rear chin lock. Pressure put in. But Terry fighting back. Elbows to the gut. And oh, arm breaker. Katie's face dropped to the canvas there. And now the cover. Will that be enough? No, Katie just gets the shoulder up. Not much authority there, but Katie's just a bit too dazed. And leg drop across the chest. And they're trying to get this crowd to get in behind Katie, but it's not to be. Terry Gold with another victory here tonight. Katie putting up quite the effort against this, this rookie. Unsuccessful, however. We see the first attempt at her package driver. And this, straight out of Emily's book. Get out of there. No sufficient victory there for Terry Gold. He'd rather say pinfall. We see the second package driver attempt. Not to be Terry Gold again. Victorious here tonight. And this, yes, this is what we've been thinking would happen, ladies and gentlemen. Emily coming in from behind, clotheslining Terry down. And Terry immediately vacating the ring just to regain her bearings here. And what is Anya doing? Is Anya going to try to get herself involved? Anya getting in a quick kick. Just shouting down at her. Now Emily stalking around. I highly doubt that this is a sign of Emily's acceptance into the harem. But that could be something. Now Anya getting in there, kicking out Terry's back. Anya doing whatever she can to protect Emily, but Terry always ready with a response. And here comes Anya with the head scissors, taking Terry down. This is an unlikely union of Anya and Emily.
At least certainly not standing on your back. Either way, we'll see how this one develops, ladies and gentlemen. Works the person is brought to you by Snacky Smarters. Eat Snacky Smarters. Definitely making your way to the ring. Yep. Yeah. Things just continuing on between these two women here. Terry Gold just attacking Emily from behind. Lots of air holes, but well, choking certainly it seemed real enough. Problems just continuing to rise between Terry Gold and Emily Stratfield here. Officials out here trying to send Terry to the back, and they eventually they managed to do that. And Delana Starr sets a face off against Emily. Honestly, uh, Emily, knowing that she would have a matchup against Lana, really shouldn't have come out and just stoked the fires, but, well, Emily is a very proud, prideful individual. Always com com commenting on herself as being the premier vixen here in West Up Wrestling. Long-standing women's champion. The founding members of the council. Reduced to basically being attacked twice now by Terry Gold. And honestly, Terry may have gotten the upper hand against Emily just moments ago if Anya had not gotten herself involved in that situation. But Emily seems to be steadily taking control here, going for the top rope. Frank Steiner, here we go. Trying with the cover right after, but no. I'm sure she's got something. She's got Terry on the mind now. Lana up to her feet, elbows to the gut, and again to the gut. A nice backbreaker. And away goes Lana. One of the evil girls are going to be in one of the eight teams in order to gain a entry spot into that fatal four-way. I know that Lady Cass pretty much spilled that out, stating that she would be facing either Catalina or seeing Catalina or Spice. She saw Catalina earlier tonight, not probably not in the way that she was hoping for. Anyway, Emily. Trying with a high shot there, but no Lana Star manages to catch hold of her. Surprisingly, Lana Star is not here with any of her cohorts. We'll be seeing them later on tonight, ladies and gentlemen. As we do know that we have one more tag team matchup to determine the third representative for that fatal four way. Remember the twisting up the arm. Stepping down on Lana's back, slamming her head straight to the canvas, stopped to the spine. Now Emily heading to the top rope. This isn't something that she normally does. So for another Frank Steiner. No, this time missile drop kick straight to the face of Lana Starr. Breaker and Lana Star just rushing right through Emily with a sudden kick to the face. Two and no. No dice for Lana Star. How shameful would it be for Emily to lose two matches in a row? And there we see it. Saw Katie Klein with. The back half of that one. And Emily coming in, kicking the side of Lana's head. And that could be it. Here's the count, cover of the count, and just a two count. You never know if Lana's blood is just ceremonial or her own, especially after a kick like that. So 
know she does dunk her face into a, a bucket of blood before every match. Nice the bit along her hair, smear along her face, the mess along her pants. The woman is absolutely crazy. And I'm sure would love a Vixen's Fubar champ contender for our division here. There we go. Looks at her other fellow evil girls. Vixen Miller, Cindy Sullivan, and perhaps even Spiced. Drag there from Emily, bringing Lana back up to her feet. And into the corner chair and buckle goes Lana Star. Lana propped up on the top there. And kicked away by Lana Star. And Lana, no, not going to take the opportunity. Instead, going for a backbreaker. Lana indeed more of a ground and pound style competitor. Submission hold on the shoulder. Emily's feet close to the ropes, but just not close enough. Smart move by Lana Star to weaken out the potential paradise shot. Unfortunately, Lana not going up for recover, and I guess Lana can't hold the submission for long, but still trying for a submission hold. And now Lana Star perhaps signaling for the end. And there we go, another straight kick to the face. And Lana Star with the cover. Two. And then no, Emily again getting that shoulder up. Lana Star in a state of disbelief. Going for the legs, but Emily kicking her away. Emily showing up to the crowd that she has a fair deal bit of fight left. Dragging around Lana's leg there. Cover right by the ropes. And just a one count. Stop to the back of the head. Emily feeling out her head. There's two straight kicks there for now. And now up on the shoulders, but no, Emily kicking herself free. Reverse DDT. Days there. Not certain what to do. Perhaps realizing it there. And now setting up for another kick. But no, Lana rolls away. Knee to the to the gut. Emily is down and out. And Lana Star again with that submission hold. I think going for the other arm now. Again, just weakening out the paradise shot, and it doesn't matter either way. Emily tapping out, and your victory here tonight is Lana Star. Perhaps get the props out to Terry Gold on that one. Emily suffering a second loss in a row. Emily shaking out her head just before getting kicked again. Hell of an effort by Emily. It was just not to be. There we see it. At least there we see the first attempt. Unsuccessful. It was the second attempt. Perhaps the move taught to her by Spice. The leader of the Evil Girls. And a star victorious here tonight. This is a sign of things to come for the Evil Girls with their own tag team matchup either later on tonight or next week, ladies and gentlemen. You'll just have to tune in to find out or keep watching either way. Craig Stevens with a mic in hand. Saw him just a few weeks ago doing 
doing this exact thing, interrupting Tony J. Smith. Line up into a matchup with men claiming to be the next in line challenger for the Universal Championship. Just wanted to make that extra step, and what does Greg have to say here? And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, the Universal Champion himself. Craig Stevens pretty much calling him Roger Destin, as we were saying before. Craig Stevens and Tony J. Smith faced each other just a couple weeks ago. Craig Stevens was victorious. Does this mean that he is the number one contender? Because he certainly seems to claim that, right? Well, we'll see what Roger Desmond has to say about this. Roger, the Universal Champion, and has been since the Survivor Series. Silence in the crowd, much like Craig had done before.
Well, in no uncertain terms, Craig Stevens making it clear that he wants the universe to title. Roger Desmond stating that Craig will just have to earn the right, and by earning the right, he means facing off against Tony J. Smith once again. But what sort of matchup will it be, ladies and gentlemen? The number one contendership on the line. Superstar set for some singles action here tonight. This week he was interviewed rather oddly by Charles Banstead. Charles Banstead making the claim that Superstar is a phony superhero. And he just has the name Super in his name. Barely even mentioned the fact that Stan Stevens had a stolen the world title belt off of Superstar just a couple weeks ago. Superstar will have to reclaim that belt back. Either way, he is still the world heavyweight champion, having won that right at WrestleMania, defeating Craig Stevens, who we just saw earlier. Hopefully we will be surviving this match without any run-ins from Tornado, Charles, Man's Dead, or anything of the sort. Charles Manstead, sorry, stated that he would do anything that was just and right. And that means taking the world title see Superstar defending his world title, trying to reclaim it after the clash of champions. A very questionable matchup. The man who ran in just a couple weeks ago following Superstar's match with Jeffrey Jones. Superstar surprisingly alongside Tornado. In the way, Stan did manage to get away from that matchup with Superstar's own World Heavyweight title belt. Telling reporters in the back he did it for his brother, who he still feels is the World Heavyweight Champion. And once he defeats Superstar, the title will be going right back where it is. Honestly, I don't think that he's been talking with Craig about this because, well, as we saw earlier tonight, Craig is actually stepping forward for the Universal title. He's beyond the world now. And I doubt that's really going to change matters here. Superstar just looks like he's basically done with Stan Stevens. And all of his antics, and there he comes up running in, but no, Stan, surprising superstar with a back elbow to the face. Superstar with a drop kick. Stan just unable to just do anything to really capitalize from his initial assault. Now regaining some control, but no, superstar whipping him into the far corner. And honestly, this is all really Stan's fault, honestly. What we're seeing here is still something of a re or a superstar holding back. Imagine he wouldn't be doing that for much longer. Off the top rope there, and now overhand shot. Superstar getting in some words, but no. Stan Stevens cutting him off. DDT to the to the canvas there. Not surprised that Stan Stevens did not come out with the world title belt. I thought he'd give the opportunity for a superstar to reclaim it here tonight. Perhaps he actually understands that 
really stands no chance against Superstar in a fight and was worried that Superstar would just take the belt tonight. Although really all that does is just leave Superstar with no recourse but to just beat up Stan. Anyway, Stan Stevens managing to hold his own. It's been lasting a lot longer than he did against Blith Omega. I think that's still the record here, ladies and gentlemen. A superstar off the middle rope. Stan Stevens steadily getting to his feet. And double axe handle. Stan crowned across the, the afro. And shoot and sharpshooter, sorry. Stan managing to get to the ropes. Oh, swinging DDT there. Going straight for the cover. Will the Afro have? Yes, the Afro seems to have cushioned the fall. Gaining up some kind of measure of momentum. DDT superstar down, stopping his way in the corner. And the man, Stan Stevens, has his arm nearly broken by superstar. Far corner, Superstar sitting up onto the apron, or sorry, up to the top turnbuckle. Close enough, I suppose. And down goes Stan, and here we go, quick cover, middle of the ring, two, just a two count. Superstar missed on that one, kick, and now it's connecting to the second. Stand up into the corner and just flung away. More superstar going top rope planche again. And yes, drop kick this time. Cover hand down across Stan's face. I'm trying to smother him. Working on the head. And gripping hold of that afro. And what's got to hurt Stan more. Again with the sharpshooter, this time center of the ring. And yes, locked in. Stan a few feet away from the ropes. Is he going to tap out? Will this be our second submission of the night? Stan struggling. He's struggling. No. Superstar unable to keep the hold in for much longer. And a low super kick. Here's the count. And yes, Superstar victorious, but honestly, who would bet against him? Superstar does not get his title over back, but perhaps standing up the measure. Do not steal the world title belt from me. He being superstar, of course. Not exactly trying to call him up up here. Please don't come kick my ass, superstar. I'm just, I'm just the commentator. Superstar will have to wait for Clash of Champions. Triple threat matchup. Okay, we'll have to face off against Stan Stevens. Potentially a tornado. Or Jeffrey Johnson. Certainly it would be tornado. Fighting into that matchup. Claiming the superstar is not a hero. He'll do the justice. Superstar trying to get his world title belt back at Stan Stevens. Is well, claiming it for himself. Superstar now on his way towards the back. 
beltless, but still victorious. And it is now time for our second tag team matchup. To see who will be joining up with Riley Everett. It's Karen Madigan Star in that fatal four-way elimination match. There we see Catherine Roxy Bailey making their way to the ring. It's the ring is just really just a couple months ago. It's been something of a uh, interesting trio as it has been. Perhaps this tag team will go to the Vixens tag team titles. Or at least a new ship spot. Catherine, what happened to the eye or marks his name, but rather. We'll see. They will not be facing off against the Evil Girls. Instead, they will be facing off against Jessica Jenkins and Kyle. It's accompanied by Elaine. Saving some sort of deep seated interest in Kyle. She can play her and improve her abilities. Bizarre, ladies and gentlemen. Jessica sending in Kyle. Catherine Deville coming in and straight with a soft paw to the face. And a German suplex tossing Kyle into the back. The last tag team outing for Rox and Catherine was not to their to their liking. Really different in the ways of Kyle and Jessica Jenkins. And trying for a German suplex of her own. Catherine Neville managing to land on her feet, rather. A couple of stops pulling her away from Jessica. At least facing her away from her. And knee to the side of the head. Bailey Kev coming out on the outside. Going for a suplex, and no brain buster. And the way it's working, and Kyle is just basically lifeless right now. And a quick tag out to Roxy. Kyle is just crawling across the ring, not certain where she is. Straight across the leg, and Kyle is definitely in trouble. No, comes in with a forearm. Doing the smart thing, going over to Jessica to make the tag out. It takes some time to recover. And drop kick there by Roxy, taking out Jessica. Basically, Roxy just picks up where she left off. I noted that before, Roxy having a bit of a, a darker streak as of late, a rougher side. Keeps away from here. It seems to be that way. She is not attacking when Jessica was down. Could be a good sign that Roxy is not trying to improve herself, but it does not pay off for her as she's power bombed down by Jessica. <laughs> Jessica landing on the top of Roxy, going across the stomach, and now going for a modified camel clutch. 
the back, but not to me. Not in this sense right now. And side rush of leg sweep by Roxy. Narrowly hit there by Russian Jessica. And Roxy with a fireman's carry. Suplex taking Jessica down and Catherine Neville cheering Roxy on. And cheering on for winning the match or cheering her on for just basically not being too rough. It's really hard to tell what Catherine's always after here. The backdrop, backdrop connects. And Roxy and Catherine, this unique team has been all over Kyle and Jessica Jenkins. Now Jessica. Rolling to the outside, Kyle with a couple of forearms. And no, misses on the third one. Roxy with a forearm of her own. First DDT. Lane stepping around Jessica. And a scoop slam. A scoop slam, ladies and gentlemen. Scoop slam connects. Back. Kyle up to her feet and speaking of her feet, Roxy grabs hold and swings her around. And Kyle definitely in trouble here, but no manages to catch hold of Roxy there. So back up and Kyle rushing right through Roxy. Roxy is stamping back. Out of reach. And down into the corner goes to Roxy. Roxy turning things around. Sending Kyle into her own side's corner. And no, same thing. Just inverted. Now Roxy's hit back. To Jessica and Kyle's corner. Good tag out to Jessica now. And spoke shots to the ribs. Up on the Jessica's shoulders. And up over the door. Top loop. And up to the outside, just rebounding off. And again, a modified camel clutch. See the expression of pain on Roxy's face. Something looks away from it. And Roxy managing to come out, trying for another suplex, but Jessica catches suplex of her own. Jessica going off to the top rope. Off the top rope, and again, just throwing herself at Roxy. And Roxy now rushing through around. Jessica whips her into the corner. Roxy coming to join her. No kick in the face by Jessica. Looked around and down to the corner by Kyle. Tag out now. And oh! Double kicks there. And now Kyle with the immediate cover. Here's the count. Gotta wonder if that would have been it. She wants, finally makes the decision. Off the top, puts a flying elbow straight across Roxy's throat. Now, tag out to Jessica. Kyle Sorrentis has definitely sent up the energy. Enough energy to mess around with the top rope. Now they're focusing on the cat's meow. Can that kick out? So it really needs to tag out at some point here. Definitely a really small thing to do. But then again, that's Roxy. So her to tag out, she goes to the order section. Just 
Back to her feet. Roxy now again. Leg whip. And Jessica Fernandez the ropes. Kick to the gut. And again pulling Jessica from the ropes. Now kick to the back. Table clutch locked in. Jessica's feet close to the ropes, but just not close enough. By the way, Jessica manages to come out of there. Still suffering the effects. I don't think she's quite as energetic as she was at the start of this one. Even as she was just a few minutes ago when she was hopping over the top rope on her way out. Good shot by Catherine. Backdrop connects in the high backdrop there. Back to her feet, trying to remember the end shot. Not successful. And over the shoulder goes Kaya. Another high end hit and another final nail. Oh, Catherine likes to deliver two of those. But two of them does not seem enough. And another shot and another final nail. And Kyle pulled away from the ropes, still a bit close to Jessica. Jessica very quickly comes in, but in comes Roxy, and no! Does not manage to make the save. She does manage to take Jessica down, however. And Catherine, poised, ready, in position. Kyle coming up, and third, final nail in a row! to make certain that there is no way Kyle can get to the ropes. Jessica is nowhere to be seen. And that is it. Catherine and Roxy do manage to secure their spot in the fatal four-way. But which one of them will be the representative? Will it be Roxy? Will it be Catherine? We'll have to wait and see, ladies and gentlemen, as unfortunately for Kyle and Jessica, they do not win their spot here tonight. A big congrats to Roxy and Catherine. Did perhaps even they'll send in Bailey. But highly unlikely. It's just something that they'll have to settle on their own. And we will see how they do it. Perhaps next week, ladies and gentlemen, is their last time to set that up. As in two weeks' time, they will have their opportunity for a new Fatal four-way elimination matchup. Well, ladies and gentlemen, last week he made it clear. 
very personal challenge to Ranger for Clash of Champions, a first blood matchup. This buddy. Setting up for that one. It's too easy to get each other two challenges. I spoke just a couple just last week about how personal this feud is and how people just don't seem to understand how deep these wounds go between himself and Ranger. Over their feuds, ladies and gentlemen. In just two weeks' time, a clash of champions. Who will it be? And who's the unlucky sob who has to face him and Number of Spectacular, it is Dexter Spectacular because, of course, it would be Dexter Spectacular. Dexter Spectacular, who will be teaming with Jamie Hill to take on Blit Omega. And it goes hard, Andy Tag Team matchup at Clash of Champions. Made the challenge before for WrestleMania Night 2. Jamie Hill coming out to assist. Unfortunately, he lost by a count out. He had cost a champion's that Not be a repeat. But we will definitely see it. We'll see Jamie Hill come out here tonight. He's not joining him alongside Dexter. He's And no, this one is ready to go on right away, ladies and gentlemen. And Buddy coming right in, close lining Dexter straight down. But he certainly has a point to prove here. As does Dexter. Man, he really use. Really, uh, Gain something from a victory here tonight. And he rushing back into the ring. Catching hold of Dexter, flipping him up and over, taking him down. He just pummeling the side of his head, just slamming it down. And Buddy is just focusing on trying to make Dexter bleed here. Just a warning, sending it out to Ranger. Kick to the gut. And pump handle drop. Dexter's hit against the ropes. Gliding in the middle. Heavy shot to the head. And we see that focus from Buddy on Dexter's face. His Face, head, and now the back. Straight shot there to the kidneys. Dexter certainly not afraid of a challenge. Buddy sitting to the ropes, colliding in the middle. No, Buddy sending him into the corner now. Sending him up on the top. Heavy shots in the kidneys there. And tossing Dexter. Dexter landing face first into the canvas. Couple of downward shots, a trio of them now. Dexter fighting back. Out of the power bomb, Snapmare. He's got a hold of Buddy's arm. Torquing out the Putting in the pressure. Putting a 
fair deal of pressure. Now Buddy finally fighting back. Straight shot to the gut. The damage is certainly done. Kick to the gut now. Looking for another pump handle drop. Yeah. No pump handle toss. And it could be spear time. Dexter turns around. And yes, no dodging that one. Not when it's point blank range. But Buddy is not done. But Dexter certainly says he is. And oh, Dexter up and over the top rope. Dexter catching hold of Buddy's foot. But now he's out on the outside. I don't think he knew what exactly what happened there. Against the post. And again! And this one, this time, busting Dexter open. And I think that was purposeful. But he had this one won with that spear, but no, he kept the fight going. And now that he's finished, now he's going for the cover. There's the count, and no, Dexter kicking out. Gotta be concerned that none of that blood got on him. Another hard shot to the head. Buddy, Dexter fighting back, elbows to the head himself. Back drop. Hit there by Dexter. Missing out on the kick though. And another pump handle toss. And this one clear across the ring. Another cover there. We see the blood on Dexter's forehead. This one, buddy's match with Rangers. And this would have been it. This would have been over. And another spear. Buddy running right through Dexter. Just a bit worn out there. Dexter able to come up with some kind of... Well, fortunately it wasn't much. And Buddy again poised. The referee may want to get out of the way. But no Dexter managing to counter out. Turning the spear into a DDT. We've seen that done on occasion by Blith Omega and Ranger. Both of whom were victorious in that one, but Dexter doesn't really go for a cover. Instead, he just does some push ups. A choke hold of Dexter. Left shoulder and spine buster. Buddy gearing up once again for the spear. And this time he gets it. Gets all of it. That's a pull from the ropes. Cover now. Will that be it. Two, three. Here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Buddy, but like the bigger story here, you see the smirk on his face. Looking down at Dexter. After busting him open, making it clear what his intentions were. Make an example, and what an example he's made. Look at this, straight across the ring. Dexter narrowly going right through the ropes there. It wasn't for our invisible wall technology, ladies and gentlemen. And the sudden spear breaking Dexter in half. And this one just, and that was just spilling the end. Victory over Ranger. Or will Buddy's blood be his undoing? We see at the clash of future champions.
What a main event this will be. Bond set to go one on one. Dork Taylor. Bond and Dork will be taking on the Dork Taylor and the Hype. Hype Clash of Champions. The epic Tiki Team Encounter. The A cap off for their rivalry. Stretched far beyond, far before. Oh, all the way back to fast lane, really. Dwight's position as the number one contender. Three thorn in the side of him. He's continuing to be that thorn. Just two weeks time, ladies and gentlemen. Time, Bonk and Dork so to take on Dork Killer and Hype. But for now, it is Bonk and Dork Killer. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just dancing around the same bit of information. You can feel the fear when I walk by. Yeah, but when you let make them run and hide, and you see the pain pouring out your eyes, and you'll find a garden to play. We await the arrival, and there he is, Dork Killer. By the great great making his debut just a few months ago prior to WrestleMania, attacking Doink on a number of occasions. Last week, Doink was I'm sorry, not last week, but two weeks ago, really. Doink was able to gain a measure of retribution, defeating Hype in a one on one contest, and that's why we are here tonight. To see if Bonk can do the same thing against the former Universal Champion in the Dark Killer. See what happens is. One on one action here. Such disdain for the crowd here tonight. Dork Killer, of course, a proud Regionian. So these people of Saskatoon, none too pleased seeing him in this ring. There's some quick shots there. Bonk being sent right back in the corner. Bonk managing to feel hold of that one. And bringing Dork Killer up. No. Dork Killer catches on to that. And Bart's forehead colliding with that bottom rope. And speaking of the ropes, Bart stand against the top and now just flung away. Dark Killer whipping him around against the ropes and elbow straight to the face. Going for a quick cover, though I don't think he's going to get much. Aside from a bit of a psychological warfare here. And showing Bonk that he had him down long enough just for a cover. Oh. Door killer and oh, all that weight. Now door killer sent across the ring. And now Bonk going for a cover. And the psychological warfare continues here, ladies and gentlemen. It's Bonk striking back. Now got a hold of the shoulder with the shoulder claw. Bonk with his arm going limp. And Bonk hoisting him up. Sign of things to come for Clash of Champions. No doubt about it. Into the ropes and trying. No. Jawbreaker connects. Bonk falling hard on his back. And hold of the ropes, but Dark Killer not giving him a moment of reprieve. But Bonk showing that he doesn't need a drop kick from the big man. 
Showing some athleticism and now showing the power. The power bomb. Taking Dorkiller down. To the canvas goes the knee and to his feet comes Dorkiller. At least not yet though. And now Bonk going for a second cover here. Again, just a quick cover. Bonk standing up. Is it another power bomb time? Power bomb. Yes, this time just a dropping power bomb. And Hype has a few words for Bonk. And Bonk arguing it out with Hype. As Dork Hillary behind manages to get to at least a knee to his feet. Seeing Bonk coming. And Dork Killer trying. No. And Bonk. Bonk with the rubber chicken. Not exactly victory here just yet. Up on the shoulder. And what is this? Referee is... Is he sending hype out and hype? Yes. Already the referee has had enough of the hype. Hype is gone here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Dork Killer even realizes it. He sets Bonk up into the tree of woe. Kicks in the gut. And another kick straight, sending Bonk straight down. Dorkiller just stomping down, now going with the camel clutch. Unfortunately, Bonk getting hold of the ropes. And now an elbow to the midsection. And running right through Dorkiller, going for the cover now. Count and then one count only, and again with that shoulder claw. And a the pressure put down in the arm and a kick to the head. Trying for the DDT, unsuccessful. Bonk with the back body drop. Now, where is Bonk going? Bonk, Bonk's going up top. Bonk's going up top. No. What he had in mind, but heavy shots in the back there. Dork Killer now getting behind. Double arm, no. Short arm, close line. Heavy shot there by Dork Killer. Reverse DDT taking Bonk down as Bonk goes to his partner. Having a few words, just sends Box straight down by Box Doink side. Doink helping his partner up and into the steel steps. Box doing his, his Doink doing what he can to just refrain from getting involved in this one, not wanting to disqualify his partner, his friend, his colleague, his travel companion, his everything. Across them, the outside goes Dark Killer. Now up to five. Into the rope still stairs and now goes Dark Killer. Onto the ring. Pulling up now could be another chicken neck. Another chicken, sorry. And yes! Making the cover. Two. And no. Oh, Dark Killer again, kicking out. Straight stop there to the chest. And now just rubbing Dark Killer's face in the sweat. All the sweat that's built up throughout this night. Missing on the kick there. Dark Killer kicking out Bonk's knee from behind. Now the cover. That can't be it. No, it's the one count only. 
Again, focusing on the back of the leg. Now the arm slammed down and stops in the chest. Dark Killer's not done. He's going to keep going. No, Buck. Buck now going for the cover. Exact middle of the ring. Two. Two count only for Buck. And again, going for that shoulder claw. Up onto the middle rope. Calling up Dark Killer with authority. Misses on the double axe handle. Box way, I don't think he realizes it. The DDT by Dark Killer. And Dark Killer going for the cover. But Bonk with the foot on the ropes. Now kick across the spine. Enough. And Dark Killer is victorious here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. What an absolutely astonishing performance by Buck holding his own against the former Universal Champion. Even with Buck being sent away from the ring, we see the chicken neck in this. Ladies and gentlemen, our aggression team really likes that one. We're seeing it all kinds of times. Dark Killer victorious here tonight. <laughs>